Hello everyone and welcome to Wally Mods. Today I'm going to be doing a short video in my Factorio modding series. I found a cool tool that will help you speed up the process of your mod making through auto completion. I found out about this tool through the Factorio Discord channel under the modding section. There's some really cool people over there and I highly suggest joining this server if you have Discord and if you don't, look into it. It's a great platform in general. So today I'm going to show you quickly how you can download Visual Studio Code and then I'm going to show you how you can find the Factorial API Autocomplete extension. First of all, if you don't have Visual Studio Code, you can head over to code.visualstudio.com. Once you're there, download your build for your system and join me in Visual Studio Code. Once you have Visual Studio Code downloaded and opened, you can head over to the left to extensions or you can hit control shift X. I'm just going to click the button right here and you can look up in the extensions marketplace. If you type in Factorio Lua API autocomplete, it pops up right here. Click on it. I already have it installed, but right here where it says disable and uninstall for me, it will say install for you. Go ahead and install that. And once you have that done, you can come over to your extensions. You can come over here into enabled. It should be right there. If it's not, you can go ahead and enable it through the settings. If you hit this little gear icon, you can hit enable and then we're done. Now to use this extension, we can create a new file. If we save this as a .lua file, say test.lua, now it will have all of the auto completion for the Factorio API. To show you that this works, I'm going to have a little demonstration. If we type in scripts, we can see already script dot, I'm going to add an event. So on event, I'll be covering events in a future video in this series. So don't worry about if you don't know it, but I'm just showing you that it auto completes. So if we go defines dot events, and this is a list of all the events in the Factorio modding API. That's all I have for this video. I know it's really short, but it's a great tool that will help you speed up your modding process. If you are enjoying this series so far, you can follow my Twitter at ModsWally for more frequent updates and or questions if you have them. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of the series and I'll see you next time.